Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the Google Pixel Beta 13 software part two is out now. And so let's just dive in. So I actually went ahead and I checked my device last night around midnight and I was just checking to see if there was any updates on here from the prior update, which I did enroll into, which was the beta one version of the Android beta one update for the Google Pixel devices. And then I checked and yes, indeed there was a beta two version and it was about 408 megabytes. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys are well aware that it will take about one hour of time. So I definitely appreciate you for coming back through the channel if you're new, but let's just, you know, make sure you stay locked into the end of the video because I'm going to be talking about the performance after the update that I downloaded. I've been using my device all day long. And so all I had to do was just wait about you know, um, an hour or so when the update was available after I downloaded it. And so I pressed restart on my device uh, midday, probably like in the morning time around 12 p.m. And I got the beta 2 started on the Google Pixel 6. And so you can get this started with your Pixel devices 4a and up, I believe, maybe even 3xl. I'm not quite sure, but just check anyway. But starting with the performance, uh, the screen outdoors still looked plenty bright when I was using it. One thing I did notice was the speeds. So let's talk about the speeds. When you're scrolling on the, the panel, it feels like everything is liquid smooth. You won't have any issues browsing. Wireless charging still works really great and it doesn't overheat when it's on the charger. So I did like that part. Also, the Wi-Fi and 5G connection work seamlessly when you go outside and then come back inside. It actually automatically connects with no issues whatsoever and i like the notification menu how you can swipe left to get more of your panel options and then you have this one-handed mode as well which was introduced with android i believe 11 or 12 right but when it came to the low light photos with the camera they burst it out even when i wasn't in night mode because the images that i was taking right here were extremely low light and the image came out really bright so i didn't even turn night mode on so that was pretty crazy um, also the focus is still really good on this device so when you point and shoot on an object you're going to get extremely good color accurate detail and fine lines when it comes to the overall image so very accurate colors extremely good detail and when it was using the outdoors for 10K, uh, 1080 60, I did notice that the panning was extremely smooth when I was using the cinematic mode to pan in and out when I was actually zooming in on the cameras. So this was 1080 60 frames per second. And I was extremely impressed with the overall panning and overall camera uh, functionality. And so, like I mentioned before, the cameras are still going to be really good with the 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel wide angle. But the actual snappiness of this device will rival some iPhones and ext like extremely good refresh rates on here with the 90 hertz. And so you know, brow web browsing was really good. App surfing was extremely pleasant. And because every single app that you touch now will immediately pop up and the animation speeds are extremely improved is one thing that I did notice. So it's extremely and it's a it's buttery smooth when it comes to the overall UI of Material U for the Google Pixel. So I really enjoy that part and it does feel finished now. I have all my widgets on board. Uh, I do have this nice case that I threw on here just for added protection, but I really do like the Spotify uh, customizations that they did make with the uh, Earthworm Gym uh, option right here for the music. So you can go actually go back now from your Spotify you know, music player, which is definitely pretty cool. And so I didn't have any issues when it came to using this device so far with Android 13. Now let's talk about battery life. I was still able to get, you know, uh, six hours SOT, maybe seven if I, you know, threw on battery saver. I also did have plenty of uh, battery with this guy through, even if I didn't plug it into the charger in the morning 
and started the day out with like 60%, I was still able to end the day with maybe like 20% or maybe 30% after that. So that's something that's really good because the battery optimization is still really good with the Google Pixel 6. So the, the degradation of the battery has, you know, you could tell it hasn't been as good as it was when it first re released, but they did actually you know, it does still have some pretty good battery when it comes to the overall battery performance. When you charge it to 100%, you're going to get about a day and a quarter, maybe a day and a half. So I had no issues whatsoever. And I, like I said, the overall uh, Spotify, um, you know, uh, window looks really good, especially with the windows when you're scrolling down from the notification panel. And you can see everything is really organized here. You have all of your options when you scroll to the left and you know it's just going to be really clean really straightforward i had no issues whatsoever with the material one ui while i was using it so far so it just felt really nice really really uh organized everything was where i needed it to be as far as the wallpapers you still get your all your options from google they will update the community wallpapers the, the curated cultural wallpapers as well and there were a few new mother's day ones there were a few ones last month added for woman, uh, Women's Day. So I definitely think that's pretty cool. I like the fact that this device just feels really clean. You know, uh, eight gigabytes of uh, RAM, I believe, is on board. But, you know, it's just going to operate really smoothly. You get that screenshot shortcut now with the most recent app menu. And it just feels really clean. The animations look extremely refined. And so that was one of the pleasant parts about using, you know, Android 13 beta 2 so far is that the all the windows felt very clean that there didn't I didn't feel any like you know uh, stuttering hiccups or belly aches so like I said the uh, software uh, continuing with that the tensor chip uh, has been really smooth powerful also there hasn't been any overheating issues when you know using this device for a long period of time so i did like that part because some devices when you use the cameras for a long period of time they tend to shut down or warn you that you should turn it off where i haven't even gotten that you know um, message on this device since the first month when i the first week i was using it i got that device that message on this device but then after that they clean that out and so the phone never overheats when i'm using the cameras or when i'm gaming you could also customize the display to match you know the color temperature of your personal preference you can match the smooth refresh rate display as well to increase the smoothness of the panel and also to actually save battery you could toggle it down to 60 frames per second you can also get all of your customizations for your haptic feedback and sound controls which is you know not available on android 12 so that's something that's pretty cool with android 13 is that you still have full customization of all the haptics and feedback on here you can also use your battery options like battery saver data saver as well as you know um the options here that they did you know bake in to the phone as well and then you do get your m2 titan chip to protect your security so you know low light shots did come out pretty good i was kind of impressed with the quality because it does brighten the photo with ai technology learning which is something that i really like about the google pixel devices now as far as the processing chip on the google pixel 6 i didn't run into any stutters or lag when I was gaming, matter of fact, it was extremely cool to the touch. So like I said, I, I, I liked using this device for gaming. You could play PUBG Mobile on extreme frame rate and also with like high graphics, you know, very high graphics. So it felt really smooth, interactive, intuitive and extremely, you know, um, sturdy and very interactive. So I didn't run into any issues, very high refresh rates on here. You could get first blood. You could definitely compete when it comes to gaming. Now let's talk about the Google Pixel Buds and the widget app that they have on board, which is something that I really like because now when you put the earbuds inside of your ear, you're going to see that you can get the battery percentage for not only your Pixel device, but also the Google Pixel Buds separately. So it will show you the case battery percentage as well 
and the left and right earbud percentage as well. As far as Call of Duty Mobile, you were able to get the device to run on high graphics. So that was something that was pretty cool. Gyroscope feature was actually activated on here as well. And so I noticed that the gameplay ran whistle clean and we ran really clean there was no stutters on here it felt like i was actually using a console when i was gaming so that felt really good graphics felt pretty good you could also add shadows as i saw in the game and a lot of really good detail and dynamic uh, you know um depth when it came to this you know, gaming on here, it felt really smooth and just very refined overall. So, you know, the Tensor chip is very well balanced when it comes to the cooling, but also the optimization and the performance. So you can definitely compare it to like the Gen 1, the 8, the, the triple eight or the Gen 1, right? But obviously I've been using the Google Pixel 6 now for six months or more now. And, um, you know, it's been really solid with the beta 2, Android 13 beta 2 version. So if you wanted to game on here, I, I could definitely recommend this device because of the performance. Multitasking is really smooth as well. It feels liquid smooth when you're scrolling from app to app also the hardware still looks really clean no scratches on the back whatsoever and no scratches on the camera region either but on the front of the display where the gorilla glass uh, 6 is there's going to be a few scratches that you know started to get annoying at first but then they i kind of just they just disappeared you also do get your active apps toggle when you scroll down from the notification panel up top i really like the fact that you can change the back um coloring on the you know the 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 buttons and stuff like that the the app buttons so you can see it's like a lime green to match the back of the phone which is really cool the darks and blacks on here are not as black as you would see on like an amoled panel but i didn't that didn't i didn't um care about that part because the amoled looked plenty bright and looked plenty clean when I was scrolling and it looked really smooth. So, you know, the overall like, user experience for the Android beta program so far has been really, really, I'm impressed with it because, you know, they kind of cleaned up everything. You know, there's no, I haven't really, like I said, the Wi-Fi issues with the 5G is really clean. Everything from the widgets to the wallpapers to the customization for the icons was just really nice. But let me know how your experience has been if you have been using the Beta 13 or the Google Pixel devices on the Beta program. And I'm going to get right back with you. I'll check you guys later. But make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, have a great night later, group. Peace.